today's preaching. Rumors of the new Duke Nukem mass destruction. Streamer Stephen Destiny Bonell has switched to EVE Online professionally. And a discussion around the new Steam software, Steam Music. Hello there ladies and gentlemen. My name is Prophet and welcome to Prophet Preaches. In our first news story of the day, Duke Nukem Mass Destruction have been revealed. I don't know about this, but pretty much they have given us a webpage and the CEO of the company that made uh, that is making the game have liked it on Facebook and Twitter, all of that, as well as one thing. Apparently, after people have pinged and uh, do, uh, used uh, whose IP, they have apparently figured out that the website is actually hosted at the office, or hosted by, or like bought at least by the office of the company. So, I think this means that it's about to be announced in about 21 days from now. At least that's what the webpage says, and I will link the webpage in the description. Of course, this does mean that. Duke Nukem Mass Destruction really need to step up their game. Because pretty much Duke Nukem Forever sucked and everyone can agree on that. I think it's very few people that will say otherwise and simply put, if they do not step up to this task then the franchise is over. Because yeah, we have been disappointed then two times in a row after much anticipation and a huge amount of hype. Steven Destiny Bonell, popular streamer among the masses. He have recently left StarCraft 2 to chase the stars in New Eden. When Steven was confronted with the StarCraft problems that he had been suffering from, he simply stated, dead game. But how does this really work out for Steven? Is EVE Online good for him and his viewers? Well, I think raging at over 200,000 concurrent viewers Steven can safely say that he is in a good spot, and he is not going anywhere. On a more serious side of things though guys, it's great to see that more people kinda got intrigued or extra like this little push after a 3000 man battle. I think that is amazing both from the CCP side since they kinda like encourage wars like this when the game gets really stale. So I really like this because personally I really enjoy this game. I, I like the concept, I like a lot of the sandboxing and I, and I like the grinding. I played World of, World of Warcraft, I grinded that shit. And I think that it is a fun experience for people and you either hate it or you love it. So due to this, I love that a lot of people that are like on the edge kind of get picked over and jump into the game. So. What do you guys think? Do you think that there should be... That people should do this? People should just jump on Hype Train, maybe uh, join up with uh, Steven and his kind of new corp or new fleet and all of the fun that they have and use that as an easy way to really just experience the game to its, like to a larger extent than if you would just do it alone. Or do you think that people like Steven just brings a lot of toxic players with them? Okay, so as a little roundup, I want a discussion around a, a new Steam feature, actually. Because when I was just browsing my normal mm, Steamy things, I came across something that, yeah, found my interest. And pretty much, Steam has apparently, they're in the production of a new kind of in-game or in-Steam software thing that is a music player, which is pretty fucking cool. I mean, if I can have my all my music through Steam and I can use that to listen to it while in-game, I think that is a really cool thing and it's features like this that kind of make Steam a lot more unique than other um, similarities like Origins, for example. And personally, I really like that. I really do enjoy that they are working on this. Sorry about that sound. So, my only question is really, how soon will it be before they get the flag? 
Right now it isn't better and they will, to everyone who joins their like Steam group, they will like send out invites in, in vapes. As long as it will be MP3, MP3, I will probably not be as interested in it because I have a lot of my music in FLAC. FLAC is the best storing format for sound, uh, simply because it is, it is lossless and you can do whatever you want with it. It might take a lot of space, but it's good for everything else. So, if they, uh, or I mean, let's just say that a ton of people have their music in FLAC, so if it can't play FLAC, that's gonna be a bit depressing, but I think they're working on that, and I'm really looking forward to this, and I hope that this finished product will be really great. What do you guys think about this? I really, I'm really looking forward to this, actually. I honestly, it will be great. So, thank you for watching. My name is Prophet, and you have just been preached. Thank you.